Well, it's Thursday, August 2nd, 2018, and I'm just putting the finishing touches on my travel arrangements for a business trip to Phoenix, Arizona. And you know what I'm thinking when you say Arizona. We're thinking Petrified Wood. So let's do a little bit of research to see uh, some places that we could go within a, you know, driving distance of Phoenix, Arizona, three, four, five hours away. Let's see what we can find. Of course, when you think Petrified Wood in Arizona, you think of the Petrified Forest, of course, a national park. Pretty incredible. And then, of course, you think about cities like Holbrook, Arizona, which has a tremendous Petrified Wood deposits all around the city. And, of course, rock shops. But, you know, we like to dig and find our own here on Rock Hunting USA. So let's see what we can find in terms of places where you can, you know, uh, pay to dig. And let's see what's out there. Well, the Dobo Ranch, it looks quite promising. Looks like it's about 16 miles east by a little bit southeast of Holbrook, Arizona, just bordering uh, the Petrified Forest National Park off of, it uh, looks like, Highway 180. They're open pretty well year-round, 8 to 8 every day. This looks very promising. Well, I've got my airline tickets all purchased and ready to go. I'll be leaving on Sunday, August 5th, coming back Wednesday, August 8th, and hoping to get to Holbrook on August 7th, and then uh, hunting on the 8th on Wednesday, and fly back home. So, business trip, and a trip out to Dobell Ranch for some petrified wood. Well, good morning here in Holbrook, Arizona. It's about 6 a.m. The temperature feels like it's in the upper 60s. Just a gentle breeze. It's absolutely gorgeous. Got into Holbrook last night kind of late, about 10.30. Stayed at the Travel Lodge, and we're getting ready to head to the Dobell Ranch out there on Highway 180, just a bit uh, east or southeast of town. Uh, can't wait to see what treasures await. Uh, just what had a beautiful drive yesterday up from Phoenix through Flagstaff, just going through those first the deserts and then the mountains with finally the forests, uh, just absolutely beautiful scenery. Uh, then headed east on 40 and made it into Holbrook. So let's start heading east by southeast and let's see what we can find. As I've driven through Holbrook, uh, just exactly what you'd expect rock shops everywhere. Plaster dinosaurs everywhere, petrified wood for sale everywhere. This is a geologist's dream. You know, the desert has an unusual beauty. Uh, heading east here on 180, it's just desolate and rugged and isolated and sun-baked. Uh, we see, you know, just uh, dry shrubs, a few cattle ranches with just uh, sparse cattle few small mining operations here and there. In the dusty distance we see uh, hills, uh, mesas, and uh, it's, it's got a curious beauty, an unusual beauty for sure. And reaching to the soil there just off the road and picked up a nice little piece of petrified wood. Just laying right here in the beautiful Arizona morning. So this is just right off the side of the road. And a couple of seconds later, reached in and look at there. Look at this nice little guy, just right off the side of the road. Well, I think I might have just found another nice piece buried in the dirt here. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Oh, oh look at that color. Look at that color. Some nice texture there. Right there from the ditch on the side of the road. All within about 10 inches of each other. Picked up this nice little trio. Don't have size or very good color, but hey, it's petrified wood, got some good texture there. 
right, I don't know if I believe this, but just walking along the ditch and look down at a rock that was just kind of just laying in the dirt. Look at this huge chunk of petrified wood. Look at that. Look at the detail. Now, it doesn't have any beautiful colors, it doesn't look like. But that is a chunk of wood right there. Incredible. A lot of times you pick up something that looks promising, and instead of petrified wood, I call it petrified wooden. But I found something that could just be regular wood, or it might be petrified. Got a light coating of dirt and dust. Let's see what we got here. Oh, oh, it's out. Oh, it's a thin piece. Thin piece of petrified wood. Hoping it was a little thicker. Got some nice detail there. Nice thin piece. Longer thin pieces of petrified wood are more rare because they're fragile and break. But came across this guy. That's a nice little piece. Hey there. Some good texture. All right, just a little bit east of mile marker 323, you're gonna see a turquoise building and a bunch of signs and lots of petrified wood. That is Rhonda Dobell's establishment. She also has a dig site. I am following her and she has definitely lived up to her reputation of being just a, a friendly person that you just feel like you've known your whole life right when you meet her. So, uh, big thanks to Rhonda Dobell and we'll have contact information about reaching her uh, in the description. Looks like we've, we've turned a corner and now we're actually headed to the dig site. Or we're getting closer to the dig site now. And looks like there's a lot of excavation work going on, a lot of heavy equipment. I guess business is good for petrified wood. Just recently excavated here at Rhonda Dobell's place. How many pounds? 40,000. 40,000 pound giant here. Look at that. Fabulous, fabulous. And she'll be finding a new home, how soon? One week. Goodness, great, we came at a great time. Rhonda just explained that if you can look at the protrusion there on the right side coming out, this shows that this is going down into the root area right there. So nice little rare find, a giant piece here, probably uh, almost five feet from corner to corner. Just fabulous. Don't think I could pick it up today. Haven't had my Wheaties. <laughs> Everyone knows I'm a sucker for just fist-sized specimens. Look at the detail here. Look at the bark. Look at the incredible color. Unreal. Deep red. Lots of iron. And looky, looky, we've got Rhonda Dobell smiling on this beautiful, breezy Wednesday morning. Rhonda, it's a gorgeous day to hunt some petrified wood. So how long has the bug bit you? 30 years. Three decades. Yes, sir. Wonderful. Now, tell us just a little bit about your operation here, a little bit of history about it. Um, we've been here for 30 years. My husband's grandfather started it back in 1936. Um, we've had this one for about 20 years now. Would, it, would this be the oldest commercial petrified wood collecting locality yes. in the Southwest or yes, even in America? Is. Yes, it is. Probably in America. It's all Fabulous. family, been family owned since 36. Tell us a little bit about your hours of operation and if people are interested in coming out here, uh, what do they need to know? Um, in the summertime, you want to come a little earlier in the morning. Um, wintertime, a little later. Um, we're open all year round. Anytime's fine. I wake up at 4 in the morning, so anytime after that. Fabulous. Give, what's a good phone number for people to reach you at? 928-524-2628. That's my home. My cell is 928-245-9010. Fabulous. Now, uh, is there anything about the petrified wood that you find here at Dobell Ranch that you would like to highlight? What, what, what should people expect when they come here? To enjoy yourself and have a great time. Lots of rainbow wood. Got yes. some beautiful bark. We've been finding uh, the colors are just incredible. 
Um, what, uh, tell us a bit about your rates. Like, what do you charge? We do it by the pile. We don't weigh nothing. You just get you a pile of wood and we give you one price out the door. Fabulous. You treat them right. Yes, sir. Wonderful. Well, if you ever wanted to know what two tons of petrified wood looks like, that's what it looks like. 4,000 pound monster. Look at the rings. Look at the detail. Look at the just the texture. Absolutely fabulous. And it is sold, folks, so don't get your hopes up. It is headed to San Antonio. heading back to the Phoenix Airport. I uh, just left the Dobell Ranch there with Rhonda Dobell and I can't tell you what a great experience that was. Um, she's personable, friendly, knowledgeable, passionate, uh, and instantly when you meet Rhonda you feel like you've known her for many many years. Uh, she's got a great collecting site and if you don't feel like collecting there are hundreds of thousands of pounds of amazing petrified wood specimens, rainbow wood, just incredible uh, structure preserved and details. And, uh, you know, it just had a fabulous, fabulous time. You can't wait to come back. Uh, we'll bring Chase out here, maybe spend a couple of days and, and revisit uh, the Dobell Ranch out here. So uh, if, if you get a chance and you're in the Holbrook, Arizona area, uh, you need to give Rhonda a call, you need to set up a time, and uh, you won't regret it, and you're going to come home with some treasures. So, uh, had a wonderful time with wonderful weather, I made a wonderful new friend, and uh, coming home with some wonderful new finds. So, uh, we'll see you at the review. Well, guess what arrived in the mail today? That's right, my petrified wood treasures from Rhonda Dobell just arrived, courtesy of Priority Mail, U.S. Postal Service. Chase is going to do us the honor of a little bit of an unboxing. So here we go. Let's see what we got today. There we go. Thanks again, Rhonda, for your incredible time and tour and your hospitality. And let's take a look at what we got here today. Oh, oh, oh. Alrighty, so let's take a look at some of these great pieces here. Keep them in the light. Look at the boy, that's going to clean up nicely. Going to have some good color on that. Alrighty. Oh yeah, look at that good bark texture there. Some good bark. We'll get that cleaned up. Little pieces there with some nice color. Oh, looky there. Boy, that's good. Nice color. Look at that bad boy. Look at that nice bark. This is, boy, that table. I cannot wait till we get some of that concrete, as they call it, the concrete dust off of it. Ooh. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, that texture. Look at that. Beautiful. Fantabulous. Looks like a piece of ham right there. Baked ham. Definitely need to hit these with some DHMO, as they say over at Heartbreaker Relics Channel. Spray them down with some DHMO. Well, we did a little initial rinse of the petrified wood and it helped, but we decided to go to the car wash. So here we go, Chase, let's load us up. Chase is gonna give us some more, so here we go. Keep on going, go, go. Here we go. $1. And? $1.25. And here we go. Here goes Chase. And here we go, knock off out of the dust.
we're having a little difficulty getting the white residue, which I believe is caliche, off of the petrified wood. So just ran down to the hardware store, got some muriatic acid, and look at this reaction. It is absolutely going to town. It's dissolving, I believe that's a calcium carbonate base that makes the that residue white. Uh, it's also mixed in with sand grains, so it's, it's like cement, and muriatic acid is uh, taking it uh, right out. So always remember to add acid to the water, never add water to acid. So always add the stronger into the weaker, never the weaker into the stronger. Uh, always do this outdoors, muriatic acid in the reaction gives off a gas that is very harmful and toxic. And then make sure you neutralize the water when you're done uh, with some baking soda and let it sit to neutralize uh, afterwards. Even when it stops bubbling, that can still be corrosive. So. Be very careful with muriatic acid. There's a reason why it looks like that. On the front, read the instructions and never use it indoors if at all possible. All right, so we have treated the petrified wood to a bath of hydrochloric acid and water overnight. It cleaned off quite a bit of the calcium carbonate, not all of the caliche. So now we need to neutralize the acid in the water. So we're gonna use some baking soda. We we'll probably need even more than that and uh, let's have Chase here start to neutralize this. Oh yeah. Keep going. It takes a lot. All that hydrochloric acid is reacting with all that, the basicness of that baking soda. Will the gas give off? Is the gas that it's, it's fine? Just keep pouring it in. Keep pouring it in. Keep pouring it in. So we're gonna neutralize all this acid before we pour it off. And then we'll rinse the rocks and then uh, let them soak for quite a while. And then we will uh, let them dry. A lot of reactions going on here. Well, we've sprayed them down at the car wash. We've soaked them in muriatic acid. We've scrubbed some of them with a wire brush and we've got a pretty good result so far. Look at the sweet color. Look at that nice texture. Absolutely beautiful. Love that bark. So much detail. There's that famous rainbow wood that Arizona is known for. Look at the deep reds. We've got some almost greenish yellows, even black at times. Absolutely phenomenal. Looks like a big old slab of steak right there. Rich colors. That, uh, that white material is very stubborn to get off there. It is a coating. Uh, wire brush will remove it, but it does take time. Of course, there is that desert cement, that desert concrete uh, formed from the sand. I believe some carbonates get mixed in there as well. Uh, it's very, very difficult to remove, but wonderful, wonderful color, wonderful texture. Hey, Arizona petrified wood does not disappoint. Um, nice. Nice piece there. This is the piece earlier that I called a little piece of baked ham. Love that texture along the edge there. Almost looks like meat. See the tree rings? Wonderful color. Wonderful material, nice flashes of color in there as well. So, love this one. Love that black stripe going right through the wood. Again, a little desert cement there. And folks, this is just a small sample of everything that we got on the trip, but just wanted to show you once you clean it up, uh, you know, that's without any polishing. That's just straight out of the ground with a little bit of washing. So, Dobell Ranch near Holbrook, Arizona. 
fantastic time, fantastic finds, beautiful petrified wood. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel. And if you get a few moments, hop on over to our web store where we have great rock hounding t-shirts, sweatshirts with just that right message for the rock hound in all of us. Thanks.